Eloise Sinclair here with a Florida mud turtle and as you can see he's a little peeled. What we are doing is we are giving this little booger a bath. He has been eating salmon and is smelly. And when you have a turtle it is good to keep them nice and clean. It's not like in the wild where they can do it themselves. <clears throat> what you are going to need for this bath is a sink that is clean of debris, a toothbrush such as this one. I suggest not reusing it on yourself later because these guys do have germs on them. Also, we're going to need some Dawn dish detergent. Now, this is safe enough for the baby seabirds when they are covered in oil, so it is safe enough for him. This is a Florida mud turtle. Let me give you a look. Now, he is peeled because we had already started giving him the bath, but I won't figured maybe you'd like to see how to do it. So, we take the turtle. Let me just set the camera down. My cameraman is on vacation, so I must do this myself. So, please bear with me. Sorry about that, my it's not quite working how I wanted to do too. Now stay camera, stay. Oh damn it. It's gonna die of old age before we get the camera. Back. Okay. I'm going to do this one-handed because, like I said, my camera boy is otherwise detained. Now, we take our toothbrush and our turtle. But we're going to put our turtle in the sink and apply liberally the Dawn dish soap. You want to use water that is cool but not too cold. Now feel it with your hand. Now you don't want to add too much hot water because remember they are cold blooded creatures. Oh no, there he is trying to go down the sink. Now usually I do this with two hands. We're going to take our toothbrush and wet it like you would for your teeth and scrub. And scrub and scrub. Now mind his eyes for they are sensitive little areas. And you want to scrub and scrub and scrub. Pick him up and scrub on the underneath and get his little areas. See? Now see how I'm avoiding his face. I don't want to hurt his eyeballs. And to scrub, scrub and scrub and scrub. And you want to scrub for a good couple of minutes and then rinse thoroughly. Now he does not like this, and most turtles do not, so you must watch your fingers. Now that he is done, now mind you I've already really scrubbed him before this. Kind of like a cooking show. Come out to the oven finished. Now let's get a good look at him. This is just a small, this is full grown, a full grown Florida mud turtle from northern Florida. They are his little feet. He is water. He likes to be in water but not deep. He does not swim. They're not swimming turtles. They are more wading turtles. Now that he is fully rinsed, we're going to drive him off. Oh, oh, see? And we're going to return him to his pen. Now that he's clean. Then after he is it back in his pen. I'm going to disinfect and scrub this entire sink. I'm going to put this away after I clean it in a place where nobody will accidentally use it and rinse this off and put it back to be used another time. Now, my Florida mud turtle 
enjoys his favorite food is the canned salmon. He loves it. I just take it and divide it into little containers, put them in the freezer except for the one that I'm using. He eats all once every week to week and a half, very voraciously on my dad. And on the nice sunny warm days, I put him in a, a well I'll show you his outdoor Come with me. We're gonna go set him out of doors. See? Oh, oh, he's gonna bite me. Now this is his just his outdoor container. You notice I have some rocks. I've got a, a shallow water area for him to in because remember he does not like deep water. Also I put a container, uh, a, a cover of sorts over him because hawks and other animals will come and try to eat him. I have seen a hawk come and get him. Now this, just a Tupperware container, but it's easy to keep on the outside. I bring him inside and put him in his other pen, and I bring him outside on nice days, such as today is over 80 degrees. So that is all. For today on our how to wash your Florida mud turtle. Now remember, all turtles are similar, so you can wash all turtles this way. Just watch out for your fingers because no turtle I have washed likes it. And that is to it for today. I will see you next time. Join me, Eloise Sinclair.